All right, I apologize. Uh, we have difficulty in the microphone in the sound system, and I hope now it's working fine. <clears throat> Actually, I was going to go later, but uh, it's going to be a short video anyway. Uh, I saw uh, <clears throat> uh, a post in Twitter, and the post in Twitter is coming from the British uh, Embassy. Um, I think it's an Emirate and the one who posted her name is Rosie Dias or Dias in her post in Arabic she is saying uh, quoting Abu Bakr that Abu Bakr he said don't cut a tree have a fruit and don't destroy a building it's you know established and don't kill an animal except for food and don't burn a, a, a palm tree, uh, etc. And then she said, uh, today uh, we will have the countdown for uh, the summit uh, to protect the climate in England. So she worked in the British in, in, you know, embassy, and mostly those who work in the British uh, embassy, especially if they speak Arabic, they work for the intelligence department. Now, you ask yourself, I mean, what this women have to do with Abu Bakr? Why Abu Bakr is important? You will notice that the British intelligence, they will not post such a post in Iran because Iranian, they hate Abu Bakr. I'm talking about Shia. They will spit on him. And actually, she might end dead because of what she said. Hmm. So she is telling the Muslims that Abu Bakr, he said, don't cut a tree. I mean, what those people are talking about? Abu Bakr is the biggest criminal in history. Everybody knows that Abu Bakr is the one who waged war. It's called the War of Upper State, and he killed tens of thousands of people. So this woman, she's trying to say to you, Abu Bakr is a wonderful man. He cut heads, but he don't cut a tree. However, just to show you the hypocrisy, we will go back to those people. If you go in the Hadith, you will find that Muhammad himself he cut and he burned trees of the Jews. And by the way, this is after he killed them. I mean, that's it, they are gone. This is how mad he is. And he burned, and by the way, there's a, there a Muhammad and he made a video saying, hey, this has happened long after the prophet, he died, you idiot. <laughs> I mean, look at the stupidity of those people. It says here, the prophet he burned the date palm tree, and then in their video they say to me, Christian Prince, this has happened after the Prophet died. <laughs> you eat, it says there, the Prophet, the Prophet burned. Christian Prince, the Prophet was not alive at that time, you idiot donkey. So here you see Muhammad cutting trees just because he's a madman. So why you don't quote the hadith of Muhammad saying, burn trees? Why you don't quote him? Kill dogs. Why you don't quote him? Uh, it doesn't fit, you know, with the propaganda. Why you don't quote Muhammad that even not only he burned trees, even he dig in the graves to see what the Jews have in their pocket. I'm talking about the dead ones. And look at the translation here. They say, he removed the crops. What removed the crops? It says, you know, nabasha, which means uh, uh, he, he dig in the grave to look for something. So he look what he did. He cut the trees in a graveyard. And then he took from the grave the crops and he starts searching them for money. In the translation, they say is, the palm trees were cut off and the crops removed. Removed where? No, he's looking because those Jews, when somebody die, they bury with him his expensive, uh, let us say, items. Let us say you have an expensive sword. The handle is made from gold usually, or have diamond in it, or have silver knives, uh, etc., uh, golden rings, they bury with the dead ones their, their private items. 
So Muhammad the thief, not only he cut the trees, he burned the trees, even he is a thief, he is a graveyard thief. So why this woman, she did not quote Muhammad saying what he is saying and doing what he is doing? Why she didn't quote Abu Bakr saying, I will kill anyone who, uh, you know, separate between paying jizya and prayer. And he killed tons of thousands of Arab. You see it? And this is Sahih. I mean, they cannot say this is uh, fake. When Muhammad, he died, the Arab they decide to leave Islam by a huge number. And the first step is we will not go on to pray. We will not go on to pay a zakat. So what he said to them, uh, Abu Bakr, he said, we will fight you. Uh, will you fight? Uh, uh, Omar, he said to Abu Bakr, will you fight them? And you heard the prophets of Allah saying, such and such, what he said, Muhammad, he said, I will kill all mankind until they say there's no God but Allah and there's no prophet but Muhammad, and, uh, uh, the fraud, and uh, you do pray as we pray and they pay zakat as, you know, etc. Uh, but uh, Abu Bakr said to him, yes, he said that. And he said, by Allah, I do not separate salah and zakat, and I will fight whoever separate them. And in different hadith speak about even if they don't pay me a goat, a price of a goat, I will kill them all. So we go back to the topic. Why the British intelligent, they use always quotation of Islam. What is the purpose? I mean, obviously, this woman, she is not Muslim. They learn easy that in order to control the crowd, the goat crowd, you have to make a sound of a goat. I mean, if you want to, talk, to speak to a turkey, you make a sound of a turkey. If you go for a hunt, if you have guns, rifles, you will see you can buy something, you blow in it, it make a sound of a turkey. If you want to hunt for ducks, you buy something to make a sound of a duck. So the British intelligent, they want to control the crowd, the Muslims. What do we do? We quote for them something supposedly help our propaganda. But Abu Bakr is one of the biggest criminals in history of mankind. But not to forget, the British intelligent, they have a history of doing that. I don't know how many of you heard of something called Lawrence of Arabia. Lawrence of Arabia, there's a movie about it actually, and this is not really a movie. Many people think it is a movie, it's like maybe written by somebody, no. This is a real person who is from the uh, uh, British intelligence, like uh, James Bond. But this is real. What was the purpose of James Bond of Arabia, Lawrence of Arabia? To destroy the Ottoman Empire. And he was very successful. Actually, he is the one behind shrinking the authority of the Ottoman in Arabia. I deem him one of the greatest beings alive in our time. We shall never see his like again. His name will live in history. It will live in the annals of war. It will live in the legends of Arabia. Who is he? Fetu. Tavas! What is your name? My name is for my friends. None of my friends is a murderer. Anyway, we can play, you can play, you can search for the movie, you can watch it. The movie have some fiction for sure in the stories, like when we make movies, but the person is real and he was behind establishing many kingdoms. And let us count them. The kingdom of Iraq, the kingdom of Jordan, the kingdom of Syria, and for sure, little tiny authority in Mecca. They brought a guy, his name, the Honorable Hussein. He is a British puppet, and the purpose of using this man is to destroy the Ottoman Empire territories. 
and they were very successful. So always through history, the British intelligence and all Western intelligence, they use those puppy in order to reach into, into a direction. If you remember, not long time ago, <clears throat> Osama bin Laden was a hero in every Western newspaper. He's a warrior. He's a decent man. He's a hero. He's amazing. He's so good. He's so beautiful. He is the best. No one like him. And etc. And the CIA sent their own members. Actually, there's a documentary you can go and watch. You will see USA senators visiting Osama bin Laden and his fighter. And he is saying to them, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. And they armed them with missiles so they can fight the Soviet Union. So they knew that those people are fool and just say to them, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Muhammad is a wonderful person, Allah is a great. Give them a gun, go and fight this guy. Okay, they are kuffar. So the Muslims uh, always being used by the Western intelligence. Always. And that will never stop. And this is why we see the post of Rosie. And uh, because that everybody will like her now. Like, wow, that's gay. You know, like the, the British the bridge intelligent, they like uh, Abu Bakr. <laughs> so I wanted to make this short videos. <clears throat> there is some way to enable super chat. Yeah, there is. I need to apply for it. And I don't want. If you want to support me, you can make donation in Patreon. Uh, YouTube, they are using super chat just to uh, to harass me. You know, each time I say anything, they take it off and down, you know. Yeah. If you want to help, you can go to Patreon and you can support. Uh, you know, we, what we say here is against their agenda. And there's no secret. I mean, those people, they are taking post of the president. So why they will not take my post? This is how much powerful they are. So you want to support, you can go to Patreon and you can help us. Anyway, uh, so don't be surprised when you hear a British official, American official, any kind of official saying things like even Joe bite me. He said, uh, the prophet said, if you see something wrong, change it by your hand. So he's asking Mujahideen to kill American. But why he used that? Eh, he is a politician. He want to use them. He want to make them vote in Michigan. But anyway, they will vote for him anyway. He's a stupid because most of Muslims in Michigan, they are Shia and they support Hezbollah. And Trump, he was, you know, oppressing Hezbollah for the last four years. So, uh, never be surprised. If you remember McCain, this is just a few years ago. John McCain, he went all the way to Syria and he took pictures with the terrorist. Now, what John McCain have to do with the terrorist? And when they ask him, well, those people, they were shouting around you, Allahu Akbar. Uh, John McCain said, uh, oh, Allahu Akbar means God is great. What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> All right. So John McCain is the same, and this is ha this is will happen nonstop. So don't be surprised. And for the Muslim, I say to them, you are a fool if you believe them. And I mean, we knew that George, George, John McCain he will not exchange your prophet for his shoe. I guarantee you that. But he is. A hypocrite part politician he used you for agenda they want to fight Iran okay we'll give you a weapon go and kill each other yeah start each other non-stop hmm? what do you want money we'll give you money go ahead and if you look now at Syria the mission accomplished If you type now, 
Syria war, go to images, you will find that cities in Syria are gone. There is no cities in the cities. The country is gone, actually. Perfect method to destroy Islamic countries. Look at this. I mean, you cannot rebuild. And now, not only you cannot rebuild, you have to remove all these uh, cities where they are totally destroyed. So this is what they do. So the appearance sound like they are praising Islam. They are, you know, they are using Muslims. And they knew how to do it. They are professional criminals. And I say, yes, professional criminal, because I don't justify doing that, even if you are doing it against people who hate me, because this is evil. We don't support evil. So they support the evil of Muhammad by their lips in order to accomplish another evil by the hands of those who like Muhammad. They arm them. Every single person in you that the Turkish intelligence and the CIA, they were, you know, hand by hand. I mean, do you think like CIA do not know that Erdogan is opening the borders for ISIS fighters, Al-Qaeda? Oh, come on. Even actually, even in the Turkish TVs, they, they, uh, there is journalists right now in jail because they broadcasted the Turkish intelligence carrying or uh, uh, mobilizing uh, uh, ISIS members from airports to inside Syria. And all the weapon was coming to ISIS is coming from Turkey or even bought from Turkey. But there is many countries, by the way, they were sponsoring ISIS, like uh, from Czechoslovakia, a lot of weapon, from Ukraine, uh, from, uh, uh, I mean, many, many countries. You, you can search the, the, the names. And all of them, they have to come through Turkey. And Turkey take commission. And people die. And politicians are happy. Manufacturer of weapon, making weapon and emission. Business is so good. This is why, you know, uh, actually Trump, he was not really the, the, the Pentagon uh, uh, industry. Let us say the war industry in USA. They were unhappy with the Trump. And this is one of the reasons they fought him in his back. Why? Because he did not go for war against Iran. Because if you go for war against Iran, the business will be so good. USA was going to buy more weapon, missiles, etc. You name it. I mean, it's a big business. Trump, he is trying to do the opposite. He want to bring his soldiers from Afghanistan, even Afghanistan, from Syria. From you notice every year, okay, he almost he would draw every single soldier in US in a USA soldier from Syria. That is not good for them. That's why right now he almost failed. Not fail because he's doing good, fail because he, I mean, he's doing bad because he is doing good. Because they want someone to establish war. War is good for them. This is why George Bush, even though he went in war in Iraq, he won twice. Because the war have to continue and the business is good. Uh, George Bush, the father, when he stopped the war, they took him off. He went in the first war to free Kuwait, and then he stopped the war, said they took him off. It's a big business. It's a big money. The criminal industries, they are the one in charge, and they are the one in control. So when you see in the news uh, a, a British official, American official, whatever official, saying something sound nice about Islam, always remember one thing. They are hypocrite. They are criminals, they are indecent, they are liars, and they say things for a reason. Always search for the reason. People, they search for the text, for the compliment, you know what I mean? But nobody want to search for a reason. The reason will tell you the whole story. And the reason always is evil, disgusting, filthy. I mean, look at this country. What is left? What is left? Look at this. What is the benefit of this? 
Qatar send money, Turkey send money, Saudi Arabia send money. Even you can search right now Joe Biden saying that the problem is that Qatar, Emirat, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, blah, 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 blah. And he forgot to count himself because Obama, he sent more than $600 million to the terrorists in Syria. What was the target exactly? We destroy the country, we make it weak, and then we occupy it, but not directly. And yes, this is what the plan is. Those people, they are willing to destroy countries to make a penny. And their penny, by the way, is billions. That is a penny for them. So be careful. Don't be fooled by what they say to you. If you go right now and search this country, you will find there's hundreds of thousands of people have no legs, no hands, no fingers, no eyes. This is the one who survive. Right? Yeah. Somebody saying, please ask Christian Prince, are these words are the right word? Ashadu Ilayla. Yeah, sure. yeah. No, don't say that, my friend, because we don't we don't witness to Allah. Allah is a devil, so don't replace, don't put the name of Jesus next to the name of Allah. You are you are mistaken. Don't do this. Those are silly stuff. Don't go there. Anyway, just I wanted to share those things with you so you understand better. Uh, Islamic countries are destroyed. War is coming, and just you will see. Now, Trump is going, the war will flourish. We will go back to zero. Just wait. Because Biden is a sponsor by the war industry. You know, uh, 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 there is a liberal, he have, uh, have his uh, YouTube. I made a video about him. His, his name is, uh, I think his show is the Dory Show. Jimmy Dory Show, something like this. He show you with details and reference how the Pentagon was out of animation during Obama. They don't have more bullets. They don't have more bombs. The warehouses are empty. Obama killed hundreds of thousands of Muslims. But you might ask yourself how Obama is a Muslim, but he killed hundreds of thousands of Muslims. They are enemies. Muslims, they have enemies. Muslims are not friends to each other. Who killed Uthman Muslims? Who killed Muhammad Muslims? Who killed uh, 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 all of them? All, all, of, all, of, all the caliphate, all the Muslims. Who Aisha herself, she killed thousands and thousands of Muslims. Who killed uh, 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 the grandsons of Muhammad Muslims? Muslims in their history, they kill each other. Actually, one of the reasons I believe Islam is the biggest loser that Muslims cannot be united for they are the nation of betrayal they are what the nation of betrayal if you go right now to the Gulf go to the Gulf or go to any country in Arabia you will find not a single Muslim country is friend to the neighbor why because they are Muslims they don't friend each other they are enemy they betray each other Turkey is enemy to Syria, enemy to Iraq. Iraq is enemy to, to Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is uh, enemy to Iran. Egypt is enemy to Libya. Libya is enemy to Algeria. Algeria is enemy to Sudan. Sudan is, I mean, this is how it is. This is the nation of betrayal. They are like this. Islam brought, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, like a, a, what is called taqiyya, you know, taqiyya which means you say something, you do something. So for them, it's legal. They don't feel guilty if they lie to you. So they lie to each other. If you see two Arab meeting together, hugs, kisses. In the, in the Middle East, men, they kiss each other, by the way. So don't think it's a gay thing, but it's a cultural thing. So how are you doing? Yeah, you know, okay. Hmm. The second you turn your back, they will start talking about you, about your wife, about your children about your family, they will rip you apart. This is the Middle East. 
and what goes for individual go for government they are so much in love with each other when they meet but in the back they are enemy to death So, this is how it is. As they say, garbage in, garbage out. You know, like you go to Saudi Arabia, you see people dressing white, and when they see how friendly they are, big smile. I mean, they are the biggest. This is why I don't want to live in Arabia no more. I don't actually associate with Arab people no more. And even Arab Christian, by the way, they, they copy a lot from Muslims. So they have a lot of hypocrisy too. You know, once I, I was invited by a bunch of guys, uh, you know, like I met them, I didn't know them. We, we meet in this place, etc. You know, they have a restaurant, etc. Like, uh, and then a guy, a friend of them, uh, he come and his wife was outside. So he saw them. He came to the table. They give him a hug. Where are you, Ben, man? We miss you, blah, 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 blah. You see, much, too much love. The guy, he turned his back. He did not even turn his back. He just stepped back. Right away, they start talking about his, his family, his wife, his, you know, this is how they are. Very hypocrite. And this is why those countries will never have a future. And Islam have no future, for it is a, it is a religion of hypocrisy. They hate each other to death. They kill each other, and they claim that uh, the devil is behind this. <laughs> when every one of them, he is the devil himself. Go right now and check in the map. Check who is a friend to who. As an example, do you know that the Egyptian government, in the time of the Muslim Brotherhood, and in the time of the current president, they closed borders with the, to the Palestinians. They didn't want Palestinians to come. They open it every like once a while, every three months, to make a few Palestinians come back to come here, Palestinian. Okay, why why Muslims are closing borders? Why Muslims, Turkey and Egypt, they are going in war against either uh, in, in Libya? Because they, both are Muslim Sunni. Does it make sense? Those are not even Shia, <laughs> you know. Well, does it make sense? But this is how they are. This is how they are. Why Saudi Arabia and Qatar, they are enemy to each other to death? And Saudi Arabia is planning to invade Qatar, but Trump, he stopped them. What is the problem? Why there is a war between Muslims and Yemen? Why there is a war between Muslims and Iraq? Why there's a war between Muslims and Syria? I mean, name for me, one spot is not messed up. The answer is very simple. Garbage in, garbage out. Muhammad, he come, peace goes out. This is the faith of Muhammad. What you expect? No, no, this is not about oil. This is not about oil. Before oil, forget about the oil. Before oil, did you ask yourself why the population of Saudi Arabia is very is little? Where is the oil at that time? There's no oil. Don't don't go there. You know the oil the propaganda. The oil can be a reason for war of other nations coming to you, but those people are fighting over what they control the oil already. They have the oil. What oil? But this is how Islam is. Islam is religion of peace, my friend. It's a very peaceful religion. You put Islam in a place, peace run from the window. If he was able to run, they will be hit Islam immediately. They will be hit the peace. So I wanted to share this with you. Like uh, there is no sincere love. Islam is a pure evil. They, what, what love? What are you talking about? There's nothing called love. I mean, those people from the time of their prophet, they were slaughtering each other. Muhammad, he cheat, he sleep with his own son wife. He go to the house of the husband when the husband is not there who is adopted son. He flirt with the wife. When the man is still married. So what do you expect from the followers? His own son. 
rape, killing, gang. It's a gang system. So this is how it is. And we would like, you know, I wanted to explain to you what it is. All right. So I said I'm going to keep it short so you guys can download it easy. And I will keep it short. If I can go live on air again, very good today. We did not lose the connection, which is very good. Uh, if I go, if I can go live on air again, I will. Uh, but always take a note for those things. Pakistani school is teaching children how to be head. Okay, but you know, you see, when when the Muslim they teach their children how to be head, the children they will practice on those who are around them. This is why Pakistan is collapsed. <laughs> you see, those people they think if they teach their children how to do beheading. Uh, the children they will go behead uh, someone who is around you there's some christian yes but the muslims are killing muslims just yesterday two days ago there's an attack in in uh, in, uh, in a school full of muslims in in afghanistan same is in pakistan go right now uh, right now go and search explosion bomb suicide bomber pakistan you will find tons of uh, uh, of attacks muslims killing muslims Muslim Sunni, there are many sect. Each sect want to kill the other one. Sufi, they want to should be killed. Ahmadiyya should be killed. Uh, Duruz should be killed. Shia should be killed. Sunni killing Sunni should be killed. I mean, this is the this is the this is the filth of the devil. Islam is a curse. Islam is a curse. Above mankind. And the more you are away from God the more God will unleash the dog on you. You might say this is evil. No, this is not. Because you don't want his protection no more. The more you stay away from God, the more God he say, okay, I will let you by yourself. Deal with it. And the dog will come. And this is what happened in Europe. They are way away from God. And they start bringing the devil to their house. And now the devil is ripping them apart. And now they don't know what to do. What we should do. They don't know what the problem. Until now they don't know what the problem. Like finally, after more than 30 years, fighting anyone, they call us Islamophobia. You speak against Islamophobia. Who is who have the phobia? Is being hidden real? Is is terrorism is real? Is it is terrorism is Islam? Yes. So they label us, they attack us, they frame us, they demonize us, they make us the evil people for saying the truth. And now every single person in Europe, they start saying what we were saying a long time ago, that Islam ter Islamic terrorism. Imagine for all those years they refused to say Islamic terrorism. They thought if they didn't see it, it will not happen. If, if they did not say it, they will not, it, not, it will not happen. Stupid. If they listen to us 20 years ago, they will not have what they have today. And that's why I say stupidity is amazing. And you eat from what you cooked. You know, there's, an, there's a say in Arabic, like there's two guys, they were crossing the river. So in the old days, like they have, uh, they have something made from leather. And it's like the same one you put water inside, so you blow uh, air on it, and then you tie it up, you put it under your chest, and you swim. All right? So two guys, they did the same. They used the same kind of leather. They blow wind uh, air inside it, and they tie it up. In the middle of the, of the lake, the, one of them, his leather, start losing air. So I'm dying, I'm dying. The other guy, he said to him, your mouth, blow it. Your hand, tie it. Blame no one. You are dying. Can Europe blame anyone? No. Don't blame your government. You vote for them. Don't blame the government. How the government is there. How this is stupid women, Mer Merkel, and all the French president before this Macron and the British, uh, all of those garbage. Who is the one voted for them? You. Don't blame them. Blame yourself. They are there because you chose them. And now you have to pay.
<clears throat> in Arabic, the joke is says yadaka aw kata wa fuka nafakh, which means your hand tied up and your mouth blow it. So you complain about what? I'm not the one who who make it ready for you. That's what you did to yourself. So it is time for everybody to wake up before it's too late. It's not too late, by the way. It's not too late. And now they are starting the porting and so But I mean, you have millions of Muslims now. In order to fight Islam, you have, or terrorism, you have to fight Islam, not Muslims. Islam, Islam, the idea, the belief. What they are doing, they think by fighting uh, a terrorist, they are done. No, as long as the idea there, Tomorrow will have they will have a new terrorist. They will pop up like you know like like eggs. Fight the ideas. This is why our teaching is extremely important. For we can fight the idea, and then terrorism will die. Fight Islam, my friend. Uh, I, I'm not taking calls because I'm not planning to stay for long anyway. And actually, we will take calls only if we have a Muslim who is a sheikh want to debate us, and we will go from there. All right. Teach us Arabic. I have a channel in Arabic. I have the class. You can watch it for free and you can learn. I did. I have Arab for Christ. You can go there and you can learn Arabic for free. All right. Uh, You said 1,130, oh no. Oh, you mean the time? Well, people start complaining. They're saying, hey, this is late. You know, we will not, uh, people from Indonesia, etc." So I said, okay, let me go live right away. Anyway, so I want to say thank you guys for being here. Learn, always learn, that when an official, like the British intelligence, they praise Islam, it's not because they believe in it, but because they want to use the Abdul, very smart way, evil way, to use people who they are religious. Let them hear what they like, and then write them. Let them do, and then do as you wish. The British intelligence, they are the one who made Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, Syria, Syria. They are, and they and the, and the French. See, Turkey today, the, the borders is made by the French and the British, Iraq, Syria, even Israel. Israel is not, this is not the border of Israel. This is not the border of Israel. Israel should have way more inside. So it was the British intelligent and the French intelligent who decide which country is going to be a country and which country will not be a country. Qatar is made by them. Bahrain is made by them. Saudi Arabia is made by them. Even the Ottoman Empire, after they make it collapse, they are the one who decide the borders for it. So always they use religion all evil people they use religion to control you know when 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 Jankiz Khan he came uh, when the Tatar they came and they destroyed the Caliphate in Baghdad and then the the advice that the the, the, the Jankiz Khan you know the terrorist they said to him just say Shahada those people they are crazy about their prophet say Shahada you can control them they will never fight you so okay and I'm a Muslim, no problem. <laughs> and since then, the old man, they hijack Islam to control. Not a single Turkish believe in Islam. If you don't believe me, go to Turkey and you will see it. Starting from Erdogan. Erdogan recite Quran. His, his wife, she put 10 kilograms of makeup in her face. And she carry 50, 60 thousand dollar or pound uh, bag made in France. But this is against what his prophet said. A woman, she show her face with makeup to public. She is a whore. This is what, this is what Muhammad said. A woman, she put a perfume in public. She is a whore. That's what Muhammad said. A Muslim who listened to music, Allah will make him a pig and a monkey. That's what Muhammad said. But not a single Muslim in Turkey, he do that. And if you go to Turkey, you will see nightclubs, alcohol, prostitution, drugs, you name it. But yet Erdogan, he recite Quran. So 
The propaganda of reciting Quran is very simple. To control the crowd, they are a bunch of fools. Say Quran for them and give them whiskey after they finish. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And here we are here to expose them and get them busted as we have to. You wear perfume, Tamara? Okay, so according to Muhammad, you are not a good woman. <laughs> Yeah, so don't be upset when you see those things. I laugh at it. I find it a very, uh, actually, uh, 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 very clear that the Muslim until now, they are, they are uh, uh, very naive. Stupidity is amazing, as we say. And they go obedient. So right now, the British intelligence, they are good. They are quoting Abu Bakr, brother. If you go to Iran, you will not find the British embassy quoting Abu Bakr. They will quote Ali. <laughs> Why? Because Abu Bakr is the enemy of the Shia. If you quote Abu Bakr, they will burn the embassy second day. <laughs> you know what I mean? So the quotation will change depending on the location. In, in Iran, we will never quote Abu Bakr for Abu Bakr is a scum back for the Shia. As simple as that. So what we will quote for people in Iran? We will quote Imam Ali, brother, Imam Ali. We will quote Fatima. We will quote Al-Hassan. We will quote Al-Khomeini. <laughs> this is how it works. <laughs> and you know, garbage in, garbage out. So I said I laugh at evil, but we will not laugh only. We will expose it. And we, we, we just showed you how Muhammad burned trees. Muhammad is an evil man. Abu Bakr is an evil man. Uh, you know, Abu, Abu, Abu Bakr, Ali, Ali, he burned not only trees, Ali, he burned people alive. He burned people alive. Ali. All of them, they are criminals. Aisha is a criminal. You see, we speak about Aisha, the kid. She's not a kid. She is the biggest criminal ever. She is evil like her father. And uh, Muhammad Saeed saying, each time I laugh, he said the devil laugh. Uh, uh, Muhammad Saeed, you know, you talk about the devil. Let me ask you a question. Is it true that the devil is a Muslim and he command your prophet to do good? Muhammad Saeed, are you there? Here we go. Guys, let me show you what Muhammad Saeed said. Just to show you how ignorant they are, the devil is a Muslim and he do as Allah say, and he is the one who give Muhammad the command. Your, your God is a devil. Here we go. This is your website. And this is your translation. And I have nothing to do with it. And this is your prophet. <clears throat> Read carefully. And this is Sahih Muslim. What you will say to me now, this is weak. The only weak is you. This is why your wife, she forced you to wash dishes every day. Potato, look at this. You're a prophet saying, there's none among you whom is not attached to among the jinn, the devil. The companion that said, Allah messenger, with you too? He said, thereupon he said, yes, but Allah helped me against, against him. So I am saying from his hand and he does not command me but for good. Who is commanding your prophet? Are you there, Muhammad Said? Who is the one who command your prophet? Give me his name. The devil. Who said that? Muhammad. You are not saying Muhammad Said, my prophet saying what you are not saying, CP. Well, okay, guys, where is that? It's it's in front of me. It says he command me. Uh, guys, the prophet, I'm not saying what the prophet said. I'm just reading you, idiot. But Allah helped me against him. So I am saved from his hand and he does not command me, but for good. I'm just reading you are saying to me. The prophet saying what, not what you are saying. I'm just reading. I mean, when I say stupidity is amazing, it's amazing. I am just reading and he is saying to me, the prophet is not saying what you are saying. 
This is your Muslim website, and this is Sahih. I mean, how you can teach a donkey? It's impossible. There's a guy he sit with a donkey to teach him for 40 days. When after 40 days he became a donkey himself. So don't sit with a donkey for 40 days, otherwise you will turn into a donkey yourself. Allah command, it says the shaitan, the shaitan command me. Read carefully. Allah help me against him. So I am safe from his hand. And he, do you see the he? The he is a small, small, not big. When you say he is big, you make it big for God. So he does not command me, but for good. He's talking about shaitan. <laughs> I'm reading the passage <laughs> because you idiot just to show you how stupid you are Allah always supposedly command Muhammad to do good here is an exception in the in the state here is exception he command me to do good why because this is the devil so the exception here they are asking about the devil is he with you too he said yes but he does not command me but for good why because I am saved from his hand Allah help me against him <laughs> <laughs> ah, he left as a donkey never come back as a horse anyway guys it's time to go please download the video share it with your friends may the lord bless you all and until we see you soon again christ is lord and we are here showing the donkey that he is still a donkey no matter how much he do face lifting the donkey is a donkey he will never be ours he cannot change his voice, he cannot change his head, he cannot change his words. He is a donkey, and that is Islam. Thank you, God bless you, and see you soon again. Take care.